Hello friends! Today we'll learn about materials, metal and non-metal. Do you know the ball you were playing with is made up of a non-metal? The materials present around you are grouped widely into metals and non-metals. Ah, you started an assignment on this topic. Great! Let me make it easier for you. At first, let's see what metals are. Yeehaw! Like these metal bars. Those materials which possess the characteristic of being hard, malleable, shiny, fusible, ductile, etc. are called metals. For example, iron, gold, aluminium, copper, etc. Let's see the physical properties of metals. Come with me. Malleability. It allows the metals to be beaten into thin sheets. Due to the presence of this property, the shape of aluminium wire and iron nail can be changed on beating. Conductivity. It allows the heat and current to pass through the metals easily. Metals like iron and copper wire are good conductors of electricity. Sonorous. Due to this property of metals, produces ringing sounds on hitting. Lustrous. Because of this property, metals shine and their structures are capable of reflecting incident light. Ductility. This property allows the metals to be drawn into the wires. Metals like copper and aluminium wires are used in electric connections. Let's see some uses of metals. Metals are generally used in building machines, automobiles, airplanes, and cars, etc. Some metals like copper are used in making wires. Silver and gold are used for making ornaments. Hmm, now the non-metals. Those materials which do not possess the characteristics of metals are known as non-metals. Few examples are sulfur, carbon, phosphorus, and oxygen. Now the physical properties of non-metals. Brittle or soft. The solid non-metals are brittle or soft as they can be broken down into a powdery substance on tapping down. Examples are coal and sulfur. But you know, diamond is an exception. It is the hardest non-metal. They are bad conductors of electricity and heat, except graphite. Non-metals may be either in solids, liquids, or gaseous state. They do not possess metallic luster and are not sonorous, as they do not produce any ringing sound. Non-metals possess no malleability, and they are not ductile. And now the use of non-metals. Oxygen, which is necessary for all living beings to survive, is a non-metal. Nitrogen and phosphorus are used as fertilizers to increase the growth of plants. Some non-metals like chlorine are used for water purification. Now, you know a lot about metals and non-metals. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!